Hey Libra, this is Soul. And Libra, this is your uh, week ahead. Uh, Energy is beginning December uh, 30th and ending uh, January 5th, 2020. Yes, as we are approaching the new year, new decade. I want to wish all the Libras a very happy new year and uh, also a happy new decade. I hope that, um, you know, the new year and the new decade brings a, a quite a bit of abundance for you. Happiness, peace, love, joy, all those things that you want. All those things that you didn't achieve in 2019 uh, and, you know, may they come to you in 2020. Uh, and I also want to throw in here, too, that, you know, with all the positive affirmations I'm throwing out there to you, uh, and this is not to take away from those things, but, you know, we are going to be, uh, you know, met with some challenges. It wouldn't be uh, impossible if we didn't uh, have challenges to confront us uh, and, you know, for us to deal with. But. If you are, you know, uh, whether they're on a major scale, minor scale, you know, just say to yourself, this too shall pass. Nothing lasts forever uh, and you will overcome that. OK, so I'm just um, <clears throat> throwing that out there to you, uh, Libra. I am using the uh, Marchetti Tarot deck to deliver your messages. All cards are in the upright position. So without further ado, let's get underway. OK, <clears throat> now. The tower has shown up here. I've been mentioning uh, for three signs, Virgo, Taurus, and I think Leo. Um, excuse me. I'm going to use this card that turned over for you. And it's part of your energy. It's the Ace of Swords. So that might be in line with the new year, the start of something new. Uh, victory and success is in association with the Ace of Swords. So we're going to definitely use that. That represents your energy, Libra, and that energy of um, Gemini and Aquarius, male or female. The Ace of Swords turned over while I was shuffling your cards. So I was saying about the three uh, towers thrown up three times uh, for the 12 signs that I'm reading for. Uh, you are the 11th. I got one more to uh, go, and that's Sagittarius. And Scorpio received the third. First time to receive the three of swords. So when it comes to that tower, we can expect to um, see a lot of um, major, major uh, stuff going on as the uh, new year turns over. Um, it's it's just a lot of stuff, unsettling stuff for some. Um, but it's you know those things that are being shaken up in order to foster restoring some type of order some things have to be shaken up just so we can restore or get back to you know things being in order also too it could be just merely uh, the energy showing up just to reference um, you know the new year where people use fireworks and they see the ball drop down in New York and people are shooting uh, you know their firearms and and God forbid that you know someone's in the line of fire there and you know I hope that's not why the uh, <clears throat> the tower is showing up here people get you know inebriated and get a little bit carried away it's just a day <laughs> you know yes you're happy you live to see another new year new decade and stuff but it, i think people go far beyond what they necessarily need to and then in the midst of that somebody gets hurt okay either them or somebody who is uh you know an innocent bystander and so forth so Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs. We already started off with the Ace of Swords. So the Shadow card energy for you, Libra, is the... Well, we have the Eight of Cups. All right, so let's see. The Eight of Cups. For some of you, it might be uh, the energy... When it comes to the... Now, in all fairness, it doesn't necessarily mean... It might be that you're feeling in your, you know, your own energy. You're feeling some type of way. It may not even be your energy. It may be the energy referencing other people. OK, as I said, you know, in another video, a lot of times people, the cups will re represent those additional persons in our lives. Now, the cups represent relationships so they could be family members. They could be children. They could be romantic relationships and, uh, you know, pl platonic friendships. The basis of this energy here is that if it's not you experiencing being let down or disappointed, don't let nobody else bring your joy down. OK, so it could be that someone, uh, you know, connected to you, Libra, whomever they may be, is trying to bring down your own personal joy because they're dealing with some sort of emotional stuff that they can handle. But they want to, um, you know, uh, open you up to what they're experiencing. And if you are 
that type of Libra that is, you know, uh, sympathetic and empathetic and, and you can be drained by this energy. So I would be very, very careful uh, this upcoming week uh, specifically not to allow or absorb the energies of anybody who's trying to dump on you. Uh, someone who could be feeling sorry for themselves. God forbid that is you, uh, Libra, feeling sorry for yourself, feeling in your own emotions. And, you know, you feel like you just uh, are beside yourself with, uh, you know, grief or some sort of, you know, letdown or disappointment. Uh, and, and hopefully that's not the case. The cups represent cancer, Scorpio, uh, Pisces, male or female. But I'm feeling that it's not walking away. It could be that you're walk, wanting to walk away from somebody else's uh, energies. Um, more or less, not so less or more, that is your own energies. Well, I feel as the, you know, intuitively I'm picking up is other people's energies who are trying to, um, dump onto you. So don't allow it, you know, shield yourself, protect yourself. The focus for you for this upcoming week, however, is the three of wands. So the three of wands is of course the traveling card for me, short distance, long distance, but it's always safe passage to, safe passage from. Something important that may be linked to you, um, Libra, regarding it could be projects that you have worked on, something positively moving forward. This is usually the green light of anything that you want uh, to move forward. Now, that could be a relationship. Like I said, it could be a project. It could be uh, almost anything. So it's the energy that shows up after um you know, the two of wands possibly where, you know, you're writing things down and ideals are coming to you and you're planning things for the future, but you don't have all the resources available. Now, this is the resources being available for some of you. And now you're ready to move forward because just look at the man thinking, contemplating. Yes, I'm ready to move forward with <laughs> all of this stuff that I was, um, you know, thinking about writing about uh, planning. Now it's uh, the green light. OK, so something positive moving forward. Now, we already have the Ace of Swords that's shown out here that um, represents your energy, and that's the card of victory and success. So let me just talk about this for a hot second here. This is a card of victory and success, determination, uh, wanting to be more adventurous, wanting to start something more exciting. And of course, what would be more befitting than to start something more adventurous or exciting as the new year and the new decade opens up for us? Okay, so we have the Ace of Swords here, victory and success, clearing up any confusion, contrasting energies, uh, uncertainties, and then being very, very determined in terms of making decisions, um, but positive decisions and taking actions and moves in the right directions, hopefully. All right, so that is your card that popped out here, and your focus is the Three of Wands. Following the three of wands that represent fire, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, male or female, we now have more of your energies, the king of swords. So this is right in line with the ace of swords. So this is a court card. It could represent female energies, clearing up any confusion, uncertainty in terms of any projects, goals, or anything that you want to achieve starting off in 2020. That's you. Okay. So this is making major decisions, making major moves and clearing up Anything else that may be um, needed to be cleared up or any kind of confusion that needs to be cleared up, but you're moving forward. OK, now it's in the past position, but it's still part of your energy moving forward. So just link it to the three of wands that if there was something that you were working on and then you had you didn't have the resources or didn't have all the things gathered up that you needed to move forward with. This is you moving forward with that, making the decision to move forward based on uh, the connection that I'm seeing here. All right. So that's your energy, Gemini and Aquarius. Oh, now we have the sun. So this is victory and success. This is a relationship card. I always get Florida and California. So some people could be traveling to Florida or California, uh, but it could be any remote sunny place where the temperatures are, are relatively stable and normal. Well, stable. Um, just warm. I'm getting a warm feeling. So it could be the islands. It could be anywhere geographically where the sun is shining brightly and the temperatures are uh, I don't want to say above normal, but normal for that particular area where where you may be traveling to. OK, this is uh, medical stuff for me. Always. And I mentioned when the sun showed up for Scorpio, it flipped out on Scorpio that um, 
even though I pick up the medical stuff, this sun represents medical stuff for me, but it also represents those people who work in medical personnel, you know, registered nurses, uh, physicians, um, uh, it could be um, PAs, it could be all types of energies related to the medical uh, field, okay? So there could be routine medical checkups, uh, it could be exposures to x-rays of all types, sun shines and smiles and radiates on Libra. Uh, if there are any, you know, uh, treatments for uh, radiation, chemotherapy for cancer, all is well. Uh, so, yeah, a relationship card. So there's a lot to be uh, feeling good about this upcoming week. It also, too, might be part of the energies of having to, you know, get rid of the uh, past, the 2019, and then looking forward to uh, great joy and happiness and sunshine and love and peace in 2020. All right. Major Arcana of the Sun. Following that is the Queen of Wands. So, of course, you're moving in with the focus. Not only are you making major moves and decisions with your own energy, the King of Swords, now you're focused and she's looking towards the future. So this is a card of being passionate. Sometimes it could be um, not only passionate, but it's intense. Um, I always get uh, things heating up. It all depends on what your situation is going on for you and uh, how those things may heat up. This is sexual energy, sexual expression, but they're focused on something, okay? And if it's, she has, it looks like a dragon. It looks like a dragon that she's looking at. I thought it was like a phoenix, but it's not. Okay, but she's looking at that, but that's the focus, okay? She's focused on this dragon, and it's in a good way. So, again, um, the fire energies, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, male or female. Two core cards showing up here. It's in between. What's in between is the sun. So that, of course, could be a relationship. You know, some type of relationship going on. King and queens always give me an older feel. So it could be, you know, with your elders, your father, your mother, uh, grandmother, grandfather. Could be traveling to see your mother, your grandmother. Yeah, your your mother, your grandmother, your grandfather, your your father, uh, but it's all good. But it also could indicate other types of relationship exchanges or interactions. Following the um, okay, Queen of Wands. Now we have the Page of Wands. So this is good news and surprises coming in. This is a court card, so it could be the actual carrier. This person could be the bearer or the carrier of some good news or surprises for Libra. Uh, this is a uh, young energy, so um, this is a card of being uh, also inspired, so starting some sort of inspiration. Again, it's in line with the new year. It's being inspired to start something new. Ace of Swords is showing up here for your energy. Someone wants to be uh, starting up something new or bring some sort of excitement or something adventurous into their lives, uh, shaking the doldrums of 2019 and moving into uh, more... Uh, I would say a fluent 2020 or at least the beginning, a very uh, affluent or prosperous 2020. So news and surprises, news and surprises may be linked to the traveling. It's underneath the uh, three of wands. Fire sign energy again, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, male or female. Up next, now we have the nine of wands. OK, so this is my one of my busy B cards. So this is just. You having the energies or some of you finding yourselves to be extremely busy in this first week of the new year and it's all well. OK, it's not like you're battled, weary or wounded, but I always say that if you are, then this energy would apply to you. But this is just having to uh, do a lot of running around, possibly for yourself, getting things in order. Uh, it could be some sort of engagement with um you know, New Year's Eve parties or something like that, you know, and just getting the preparations in order to host or entertain multitasking doing, uh, you know, work for other people or doing other things for other people. And then the nine of wands gives you the energy to do all of those uh, tasks that, you know, you may be confronted with. OK, now I know specifically that the nine of wands is underneath the court card. So it's definitely you're doing something <laughs> for other people. So fill in the blank for whatever that is. Following the nine of wands, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, male or female, and you're Energy is being dominated here by fire. Now it's the four of wands, so more fire. So this is the happiness card, Libra. So this is um, 
Now, this sun being over top, I just got this. This is a hotel. Okay, so this is uh, hotel reservations for somebody and uh, wherever this sunny place is. So this is the happiness card. This could be someone moving in, someone purchasing a home, uh, moving into a different apartment, condominium. Uh, it is a always reference the structure of a building, but it's within that structure of the building that there is some form of happiness going on. OK, with other people. So this is the happiness card. Wow. And then it's underneath the major happiness card, the sun. So, yeah, someone could be relocating. Someone could be purchasing a home, moving to a different house, uh, condominium apartment, uh, someone moving in. It could be a family member, it could be a romantic partner. It could be almost anything going on here. But there's happiness that is the central core of this four of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, male or female. These last three cards are wands. Well, actually, the last four cards have been wands. And we open up with the three of wands. Last card is a major arcana, the fool. OK, so this is actually a pretty good card here. The fool shows up here as um, part of the energy that may be connected to the ace of swords because the ace is the start of something new, wanting to do something more exciting, uh, more adventurous. Then this fool says, well, this is all about you taking those risks, excuse me, those risks, taking that leap forward, putting that best foot forward. The universe is going to be there to support you. And this is also too part of the energy of uh, going out into the unknown, seeking uh, new pleasures and new beginnings. So this is a new beginnings for uh, some Libras. And this is uh, right in line with the new year as we open up in 2020. This is all about new beginnings and starting something new and fresh, exciting, adventurous, whatever that energy may be for you, okay? And you have all of these supportive cards here. Eight of Cups showed up here as someone's shadow, and I felt that it was more uh, someone else's energy coming on to Libra's than it is uh, Libra's energy. It's dealing with it itself, themselves, or, you know, I feel it's more other people. So be careful not to allow your energy to be swiped up uh, and, and hearing other people's emotional baggage, garbage, and trying to dump on you or depress you with your, you know, with their shit. Just be careful, okay? Libra, you have some good energy here. Uh, I hope it opens up for you. Please continue to throw in the comments. Don't use any profanity. Don't. <laughs> I know people um, get a lot of comments, and they'll hold these too. You know, you can't just throw in a whole bunch of emojis and uh, you know try to throw links into the comments no they're gonna they're gonna flag all of that so don't do that just you know if you're going to comment if you want to comment just keep it simple uh, but you don't have to uh, comment at all it's not mandatory i'm just letting those people know that what not to do if they want their comment to be seen then they can't be thrown in curse words they can't be even if it's a uh, curse word that's Talking about something good, they can't throw it in there. It's not because you said something uh, nice and then threw a curse word in that, you know, that's acceptable. No, they flag all of those things. Um, but, yeah, uh, if you don't choose to comment, that's all fine and done. I'm, I'm, I'm good with that. But please be safe, uh, Libra, uh, going into 2020. Always emphasizing that safety. You have some good energy here. Uh, and I wish you all love and light until I see you on the other side of 2020. Take care. Bye.